Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler License Type Overview video. Applied Imagery offers several license types to accommodate various types of users from individuals to large organizations. There are four license types available for Quick Train Modeler. Node Lock licenses lock a Quick Train Modeler license to an individual workstation or laptop. A license code or file unlocks the license. Node Lock licenses cannot be moved between computers and they do not require network access to run. It's also worth noting that node lock licenses cannot be accessed via remote desktop. Portable licenses use a license dongle, which is a USB license key. This dongle can be shared across multiple workstations, but must be plugged in locally to the machine running Quick Terrain Modeler. Portable licenses cannot be shared across a network, nor do they require network access. Portable licenses are a convenient way to share licenses when users are on separate networks or when users travel or work from different facilities. The dongle can be carried around and used on any workstation. Floating licenses come in two versions. One uses a dongle and one uses a license server. While the functionality is very similar, many organizations, particularly in the DoD, forbid the use of dongles in their facilities. In addition, the license server-based floating licenses scale better across larger organizations and are easier to manage. A dongle is a small USB device that looks like a thumb drive. It's important to note that it's not a thumb drive though, as it has no storage capability whatsoever. For portable licenses, the Quick Terrain Modeler license dongle must be plugged into the local machine for Quick Terrain Modeler to launch. For dongle-based floating licenses, the license dongle can be installed on any workstation on the network. When used in a floating configuration, Quick Terrain Modeler will discover available license dongles across the network. This license will be unavailable to the rest of the network until the user closes Quick Terrain Modeler. There can be multiple license dongles floating on a network at the same time. Quick Terrain Modeler's other version of floating license uses a license server. Applied Imagery uses FlexNet for the license server architecture. No dongles are required in this architecture. The license server maintains a pool of licenses, and as each Quick Terrain Modeler user launches Quick Terrain Modeler, a license is removed from the available pool. License servers can be set up in less than 10 minutes and can actually run on a client machine if necessary. Network connectivity is required for this architecture to function. So which type of license is best for you? It just depends on your situation. Node lock licenses are simple, require no dongle, and cost less than other license types. It's best for individual users, for users who do not want a dongle, or for traveling or deployed users who may not have consistent access to a network that has a floating license server. Portable licenses are very flexible, allowing simple instant transfer of licenses by plugging the dongle into another machine. You can put it in your own pocket, walk down the hall, or fly to a conference with the license. The downside is that dongles can be forbidden in secure environments. Portable licenses are best for organizations that have multiple users, multiple networks, and or multiple workstations, but have a limited number of users. Dongle-based floating licenses are the best of both portable and floating functionality. Licenses can float across networks, but can be easily unplugged and moved to another network, location, or a standalone workstation. Dongle-based floating licenses are best for smaller deployments of floating licenses in environments where dongles are permitted. License server-based floating licenses are very easy to deploy and can be a very effective solution for any size organization. Since it does not require a dongle, it's a very popular way to share Quick Terrain Modeler licenses in secure environments. Server-based floating licenses are best for organizations that need to share Quick Terrain Modeler licenses among users and workstations that have continuous access to the network. Thanks for your interest in Quick Terrain Modeler. If you have any questions about license types or anything else for that matter, please do not hesitate to contact us. We would love to hear from you.